The Black Widow solo movie has been delayed to May 2021. Bad news for cinema goers, bad news for Disney's annual revenue, but great news for those of us who like to spend our time connecting threads on a whiteboard, trying to work out what's gonna happen in the movie. It's all they're talking about up there. Jesus Christ, dude, we are gonna lose our jobs. Will we find out what really went down in Budapest? Will we see a flashback to Natasha burying her famous ledger or installing it on her computer depending on how she prefers to keep track of all the red? Can David Harbour maintain a convincing Russian accent for two whole hours? And most importantly, will Robert Downey Jr. reappear as Tony Stark? Up until recently, even though we've had no official confirmation from the watchers at Marvel HQ, most fans were expecting that the dearly departed Iron Man would appear in Black Widow, albeit very briefly. Robert Downey Jr. was not expected to shoot any new scenes, but rumors suggested that the movie could potentially repurpose some old footage, perhaps a deleted scene from Captain America Civil War. Considering that Black Widow takes place just after Civil War, it seemed logical to assume that Tony Stark might feature, even if it was just to provide some continuity. After more than 20 movies, general audiences are as familiar with these easter eggs as hardcore Marvel scholars, so why not beef up a Black Widow solo joint with a bit of Iron Man star power? Even recycled RDJ packs a punch. Hell, an animated gif of the guy has more charisma than most people. Well, hold your horses. Because a new rumor suggests that Tony Stark will not be appearing in Black Widow after all, not as a deleted scene, not even as a gif. Now, this comes from the notoriously reliable anonymous sources, so as with anything that has not been officially confirmed by the powers that be, we should keep an open mind. But sources strongly hint at Tony's absence, and when asked about a cameo, Downey Jr. himself gave a rather cryptic response, saying it would be nice if they notified me. Reading between the apparently very widely spaced lines, this could suggest that this particular Marvel power player was reluctant to appear in Black Widow. And if anyone has the behind-the-scenes clout to resist the Marvel machine, it's Iron Man himself. Of course, it could also just be Downey Jr. being Downey Jr. The guy loves messing with people. Whatever the answer, and we may not know definitively until the movie comes out, there may be a more important question to address. Do we even want Tony Stark to appear in Black Widow? Now let's take a look at Tony's guest appearances in other non-Iron Man, non-Avengers MCU movies. Shellhead is key to the story and emotional stakes of Civil War, functioning as both antagonist and secondary protagonist. And the movie gives him some of his richest dramatic material to play. We would argue that the character is well served by the movie, and vice versa. Tony's next most prominent guest appearance is in Spider-Man Homecoming. It's a smaller role, but still pivotal. Part mentor, part deadbeat dad, part disappointed dad, part provider of high-tech murder-capable cybersuits? Yeah, we never said it was a healthy dynamic. And Far From Home turns Tony's absence into a kind of cameo of its own, with his death hanging over every decision that Peter makes. Even his earliest and briefest cameo in the post credit scene of The Incredible Hulk is more than just an easter egg. This was only the second movie in Marvel's fledgling cinematic universe, and we had no way of knowing if the plan to assemble the Avengers would actually come to fruition. All we had was a brief appearance by Nick Fury at the end of Iron Man and a tantalizing mention of a certain initiative. But Tony's appearance here was strong evidence that Marvel were serious about giving us a real live-action Avengers team-up. That's right, kids, I'm old enough to remember when people thought an Avengers movie might be a flop. So with all this in mind, how would a Tony Stark cameo actually benefit Black Widow? Tony and Natasha's relationship has always been professional, basically polite outside of some antagonism in Iron Man 2. It certainly isn't as rich as Tony's relationships with Cap and Peter. There's not much that needs paying off, emotionally or in terms of plot for either character. As far as we can see, a Tony Stark appearance could serve two purposes. Providing connective tissue and continuity, and giving the audience a brief thrill at seeing Iron Man again. And honestly, neither of these options feel like they would serve either Tony or Natasha very well. Especially if it's just recycled footage from an older movie. If you're gonna bring back Tony Stark after his hugely impactful sacrifice in Endgame, and after seeing the ripples of his death play out in Far From Home, a brief and ultimately meaningless cameo could only feel cheap. 
Maria Hill or Nick Fury could easily play the same connective role, or heck, get Agent Coulson or some anonymous flunky. Batman is playing Galaga. How about Galaga Guy? Remember Galaga Guy? Ultimately, this is Natasha's big solo movie. She doesn't need any other Avengers propping her up. In fact, the more isolated she is from the team she's come to know, arguably the higher the emotional stakes. Of course, there are still at least six months to go, and things could easily change. So what do you think? Are you dying for another Tony fix? Have you laid his memory to rest? Are you sick of him? Sound off in the comments, like and subscribe, and we will see you soon.